SwiftUI comes with support for document-based apps built right in, which makes it really easy to create, edit, and share documents using a system standard user interface. Let's try it out here. The first thing you want to do is define what kind of data you're working with. So we'll start by importing a new framework called Uniform Type Identifiers. This contains a massive long list of these UTIs that describe things like movies, audio, pictures, text files, and more. Then we'll say the data we're working with is a struct called text file, plain old text, but it must conform to a new protocol called file document. It's capable of loading and saving files. Now to conform to this protocol, you've got to start by telling iOS what kind of files you want to work with. Is it pictures? Is it movies? And so forth. So we're going to say static var, readable content types. And I'll make this be an array of ut type dot. And there are many of these things in here. You can just scroll through and admire them all. You'll see things like his movies, MPEG4 movie. Uh, there is Perl scripts, Ping, Python script, even Swift source and more. In this instance though, I'm going to say plain text. Plain old text, great file format. So that's what we want to open and save so the system knows the kind of files we can load. Next up, we want some actual text to work with. So I'll do var text equals an empty string. By default, there's nothing in there. I'll make an initializer called init with initial text be a string equal to an empty string, and assign that to be uh, to our initial text. So we can now make new documents with text we want to have. Now below this, we have to have some more methods to conform to that file document protocol. One is init with file wrapper. So a file wrapper is a file stored somewhere on disk. We don't care where. It might be iCloud for all we actually care. The point is, this thing will have the file's contents. And it's our job to read it out as data and convert it to be a string and assign that to our text property. So I'll say if let data equals file wrapper dot regular file contents, if we can read the file wrapper's contents, brilliant, we'll assign the text, the string decoding that data as utf8.self. So convert the save file data to be our text string. The second method is the opposite. It's called write to file wrapper. This is when it's time to save our text string to disk. So in here, I'll first convert our text to data by doing let data equals data text dot utf8. Then say uh, make a new file wrapper here using the regular file with content initializer. What do you want to put into your file? And the answer is our data. Now, this works because we're handed this in out file wrapper. We can do with that whatever we want. We're making a new one with our contents and sending it back. We're not saying where to save it. We won't give it a file name. It's down to the system to put it in the right place. Very, very nice. So that's done. That's our file format right there. The next step is to build our editing user interface. And it's be really simple. Down here in our content view, I want to say there is a document coming in and a text editor editing that document. So I'm going to say at binding, var document is a text file. Now it's at binding here because it's going to be passed in externally, but we don't own it. We want to modify the external version. So it's not our copy, it's not our text file, we're just referring to an external file passed in from somewhere else. There's our document right there. And now we can say in our body, there is a text editor with a text being bound to dollar document dot text. So as we change the text editor, it'll change the external text file. And now our final step is to go ahead and edit the main Swift file for this project. Um, and up here is your at main file. This thing has a window group by default. We want to change that to be a document group which is responsible for making new documents. This wants to know how to make a new document. I'll do new document is a text file. And it's gonna pass in the file that was made. So when I've made a new document, what do you wanna do? The answer is file in, bring it in. And for our content view, do document 
file dot dollar document. So it'll load that document into our content view. But remember that's at binding, we're changing the remote one, not the local one, so it'll update the cloud and so forth appropriately. Now, as you can see, when we make a content view like this, we've got to pass in the document to work with, which also means if you want to use SwiftUI's previews down here, you've got to pass one in here as well. For testing purposes, you might want to say uh, the document is .constant text file. That's fine too. Just some values will be passed in there. If you press Command R now, we should get a nice document-based app ready to go. Let's find out. Boom, so here's Recents and here's Browse. I can press plus to make a new document. There it is. And I can write in here, hello world, this is SwiftUI text-based document editing in action. Boom. And that'll be saved when I press back. It'll go out, see a little preview here of my text, and be flushed out to iCloud and backed up automatically.